Hello, looking good, YouTube. My name's Love Game, or PD1 Piranha if you prefer. Welcome back to more Let's Play Zoids Battle Legends. I believe it is time for another boss, if I'm not mistaken. As the music might imply here, it's quite boss like. I think this boss is. Hey, hear the Zoids voices? Something from Fusors. One of the least threatening bosses, honestly, in my humble opinion. Although they're not, again, the bosses, in my opinion, aren't as bad as like some of the actual, like regular Zoids. Just because, again, you can kind of cheap them out if you know what you're doing. Like this. Again, sticking with the Koenig Wolf, just because it gets the the job done. How did that not hit me? Yeah, the Seismosaurus, 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 I think is the, like, the last Zoid they fight in Fusors. I haven't watched that show in a long time, although I'll find out pretty soon, because me and Flamebro are currently suffering through that, but... Ugh. I don't even want to talk about that right now, that was headache-inducing. Oh, shit, I am getting out of the, uh, I hate this, it's like Star Wars Battlefront. There's like a designated amount of battlefield you can actually fight in because the game says so, so. What are you gonna see how much damage that did? Almost nothing. You guys still have the health lead, but as you can see, Max over here is not so smart. He's just kind of running into the uh <laughs> the Seismosaurus, even though you can't melee these things. It kinda comes into play. You'll see why when I do the uh tournament mode. Well then, get out of my way! Ah. Of course, Mr. Mulga over here thinks he's hot shit with his missiles. Let's see if I can hit him with the rifle instead of having to waste... Oh, weapon binder. Valuable weapon binder. Ammo. On the boy over here. So far, so good, though. Again, kind of a breather once you get this Zoid. There's some... Incredibly annoying missions coming up, so don't worry, you can see me suffer any time you want. If you stick around long enough, that is. You're the one getting in the way, Max. I can't help you out if you want to melee a Zoid that can't be meleeed. But I got ammo to spare. Matter of fact, just for non-existent bonus points, I'll take out that, uh, okay, try hard. I'll take out that Mulga. Go. You're actually gonna try, aren't you? Give it up, you you done got yicked. Do I have to kill the stupid Mulgas too? I mean I guess that was part of the uh the deal, but how fucking many of these are there? And why are they such tryhards with those missiles? Thank you, Max. Mission accomplished. Yeah, generally, except for like the last boss, the bosses aren't particularly bad. Just because they kind of sit there and barely move, they just have a lot of health and most of their attacks are slow as shit. I'll show you why the last one is hard. But, not until we get to it, obviously. Oh, is this the mission? Oh boy. Hang on, I might need to call in some assistance. Okay, okay, I guess I'll go it alone. It is my quality time with the waifu, after all. Now, I believe if you picked that um, destroy them both whatever option, this one would be consi considerably, well, easier. Not a way to say it. Seems like a better word there, but easier and more manageable, whatever. Because you'll actually get a blade lager. So you can choose either Blade Liger or Waifu, and, well, 
If you don't know my vote there, then you don't know me well enough. Okay, so this is time. It is, is that time again, it is those times. For the hardest mission. Probably the hardest mission in the game. And you want to have the Coney Wolf for this. Don't even think about using anything else. Literally, just use the Koenig Wolf and use the... What is this? What is the S? Does it mean it goes into, like, the first person mode? Oh, I'm not gonna... 35 bullets, fuck that. But yeah, you generally... I'm thinking, do I want the actual Koenig Wolf missiles, or stick with the Weapon Binder? I'm not gonna do this in the first try anyway, so it didn't matter, but... Uh... Here goes nothing, I suppose. Welcome, my friends. When it loads. Welcome to the Devil's Maze. This mission's a bitch. You have Claudia helping you and her Iron Kong in this case. But this mission is hard for a lot of different reasons. Number one, you have invisible Hellcats all over the map. They're invisible and they're extremely fucking tanky for some reason. They have inordinate amounts of health. And when they are invisible, you can't actually lock onto them. Have fun! Again, as usual, the AI is, like, 50-50. Sometimes it can actually be quite good. On my practice run, Claudia was a big help. But... Your real best bet here is to use some kind of close-range attack like that on the Hellcats, just because you really cannot hit them reliably with a gun, because look at how short they are, and I can't... I don't have an axis to aim on. It's not like an actual no! FPS or anything like that. I'm literally just turning my Zoid and like pointing the rifle. See, I can... Once you can lock on, it's not as bad, but you can only lock on until the attack cat feels like going invisible again, like that. Thankfully, it doesn't do that much damage. It's not so much of that. It's just... You gotta make everything you do count here. Plus, the melee attack is clunky as shit, as you can tell. So I'm overshooting it half the time. So, like, just think about small, invisible, and very tanky Zoid. That's faster than you on top of that. And multiply that by four, and you have this map. Let's see if I can hit it once before it... Invisible again. There we go. Of course, the other one's after me now, too. That's no good. There's also these Matrix Dragons. They're not quite as bad. If only because they are visible the entire time. Of course, Claudia, I don't know what she's doing if she's actually killing anything, but... Oh, God willing, the waifu can actually do something. AI waifu is not as nearly as good as playable waifu. But yeah, the Devil's Maze, again, aptly named, is a big-ass maze. If I can get rid of this guy just because I have his attention for the time being. Again, weapon binders aren't so good for close range just because of the sheer fact that they, the missiles tend to do that curve before they actually hit. Doing okay so far, but I'm not gonna count my chickens before they hatch here. I have a lot of those chickens, you know. Being a Texan and all, I own a whole farm. 
Okay, there's one down. Alright. Let's see how I'm gonna do this. Alright, Claudia, I'm coming to save you, hopefully. I can only do so much for bad AI. When you're not the true and honest character controlled by me. Let's see if I can hit him at all. Oh, wow, you're not doing so great. Oh. Trying not to hit you, Claudia, but you're not making it easy. At least I can actually hit them a few times. Their camo's running out, it seems. Okay, I've got him juggled, at least. You know, I am quite the, uh, the juggalo. Whoop whoop and all that stuff, I guess. Oh my god, they're all after me at the same time. This is bad. And of course he goes invisible as I say something. Ah, that one's almost dead. But you're in the way! Your Zoid is almost as thick as you are, Claudia. And she's down for the count. This is bad. I might not have this, guys. I don't know. Just a hunch. With that long-ass recovery on the melee attack, I might not have this. And only, you know, the entire fucking Imperial Army on my ass at that. Jeez. Last thing I wanted to see. Last thing I wanted to hear was riff rap up in my ear, but we can't all be rappers like he is. Can I get the get up attack? Thank you. Okay, there's one down, but I'm stuck. Fuckers. All right. Let's see if I can boost jump my way out of this situation. There's still that many of them left. Fuck. I've got a good amount of ammo left. It's not that I'm worried about that. Let's see if I can hit this guy at all. Come on, walk on, would you? Bitch. Okay, there's one down. Shit. I have no fucking health to speak of. This is not good! Alright. Oh, I actually hit him. Damn. Alright. Come on, pull this out of my ass! There's still one left. Fuck me. I'll try. I have no fucking health, but I'll try. I have some ammo. I'm not worried about the ammo department here, but man, once they use that active camo, it's kind of a lost cause. You're kind of yellowing at that point. I'm doing better damage than I did last time, so at least I have the uh, SB for SpongeBob generator over there. Come on, I might pull this out of my ass first try. Come on. One more hit for me. Do it for the waifu. Do it for the waifu, bitches. Let's go. <sighs> and that was Devil's Maze, the first, the, the hardest fucking level in the game on the first try. Uh, I am not ever doing that again. Fuck that. I have to sneeze again. <laughs> Victory sneeze. Well, we may have lost our waifu's uh, gorilla zoid over there, but we just uh, avenged her and all that good stuff. I told you when I'm fighting for the waifus, I don't hold back. That was like, once we lost Claudia, I was just going to go all in there. 
There's the Fusor Dragon. Not that I'm going to use it. Okay, okay, okay. What's next? This is what's next, gangsta. What are we fighting? Puppeteer? Huh? Well, that's me. So we have... A 0x? Why? Wait, no, the 0x is helping me. So I gotta fight you, you, and you. That's not that bad. I can do that. Famous last words. Oh, I gotta save for that. Before I do that, because I am not doing that shit again. I feel good about that. That was... Almost makes up for my blunders back in the Dark Souls LP. Almost. Ah! Damn it. Double, double victory sneeze, I guess. Well, here goes nothing. Kind of an odd map here. It's just like a big wine. Alright. That was a lot harder than it looks, trust me. That took me upwards of 20 tries on my first time, like, ever playing this game. And I didn't play this until 2016, so I wasn't, I wasn't a kid back then either. I was already... What, 24 at that point? Yeah. Fucking lock on, there you go. Oh, the binders are so much fun. I love them to death. Were I a smart boy, I would probably wait and use them whenever, like, the hit stun wore off, because he has invincibility after he gets up, so I'll do that from now on. Boom. Who's on my team? Oh, it's Rainer. Rainer has a 0x, huh? That's cool. I used that in my Let's Play of uh, Legacy, if you recall. For a short time. It wasn't like a long-term... There's that Lord Gale. What the fuck? Thank you, camera, for going in a, the wrong direction. What are you doing? Like, I, I think the Lord Gale was like a sort of a Fusor. Like, it has the same parts as a... Fly scissors, but is like its own thing. I don't get it that much because, like, in Battle Legends, the Fusor Zoids could be made as standalone Zoids as well. So the fusion mechanic was really pointless in that game because you could literally just build the Zoid that the Fusors would make anyway. But it would only take up one spot. So why on earth would you ever want to? Why would you want to make? Or why would you want to have, like, the Fusor Zoid components on the battlefield? When you could just, uh... You know, just have the one. I don't get that at all. But yeah, pretty easy mission to do after that one, so... Calm after the storm in that case, I guess? Somebody's on my ass right now. What are you doing, Rainer? Take some of the... Oh, is that a fucking turret? I swear to god. That's probably a turret. It's like a preview of my Halo LP already, just because of these damn things. I'm gonna use the sniper rifle for a change, just cause. So you can actually, like, use the special sniper rifle that will put those, like... You notice how the, the Koenig Wolf has these, like, goggles on it? I'll show it better in a moment, after this guy's dead. Get your damn shield off, there we go. Uh, yeah, do you see, like, how the Koenig Wolf has... Like these... I'm trying to show it off better, but the damn thing won't turn now. Well, it'll, it'll rotate once I beat the mission. And just do my... Elegant boosting jump here. Boing. 
Rainer's over here just getting all sorts of fucked up by that Chimera Dragon. Don't worry, I'm coming to the rescue. If you want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. Give me the damn booster already. Uh, Alright. Let's clean up. What the hell noise was that? Uh, fucking burp. Is this a DSP LP now? Alright. Rotate your damn camera already, or is there something left? I only saw three Zoids on that uh, preview screen, good sir, so you better not be lying to me. I don't take kindly to lying on this LP, and you lied! You're a dirty liar. I'm gonna get you for that one. Alright, Rainer, sit back, I got this one. I don't know what the fuck this is, but I got it. It's another one of these. It's almost dead? How did it get away? Don't tell me the AI is bad in this game or something. I mean, heaven forbid. One of my glasses lenses are popped out? Well, shit, let me go pop out the other one. There it is. You see how it has, like, that scope that kind of folds over its face there? Well, if you use that sniper rifle, it will, like, actually go into a first-person sniper mode, much like the Snipe Master. I've never used it before, so I wouldn't know. I'm too good for that. Uh, shut your ass up. Mad Thunder is easy. It's a cool-looking Zoid, though. Yeah, I think... I think if you pick... I forget what, like, option you get that gives you a free uh, Blade Liger if you just choose not to, um... Or is that in the other campaign? I don't know, because the Blade Liger's a Republic Zoid, so why wouldn't we have it? But fuck it, we'll just pick A. A joined force? You mean a joint force, Claudia? I know you smoke plenty of the dank in my head cannon, so it must be true. The griffin sucks, why would I use it? Okay. So is it just the Mad Thunder? That's not that hard. Let's see, what do I have to use here? I got smoke. I could smoke up. Let's see, 20, 30. Just gonna have defense, because I know these guys like to shred me. Omega plug? Hmm. I'll get my SB for SpongeBob. Attack and defense is my style, anyhow. Do we have anyone else we can... Well, no, let's stick with Zayn. His voice is the most fun. He has that kind of surfer dude Yamcha kind of voice. I'm not sure who the actual, like, voice cast is for this game, because it's kind of hard to find that info online. <laughs> Supposedly... Oh, this map sucks. Supposedly, um... Claudia is voiced by Tabitha, Tabitha St. Germain, which I'll believe. I can hear that in her voice, but it's not ever confirmed in the game anywhere, so I wouldn't know. I'm a scrub when it comes to that kind of thing, but not taking out Mad Thunder. Mad Thunder is a chump. It looks badass, but it's a chump. I already got it halfway dead, pretty much, and it's not even, like, posing a threat. This music is fucking bumping, though. Okay, I'm feeling this. Let's get down to the, the beats in the arena over here. This guy's making beats like it ain't nothing. Also, he doesn't have, like, a stun animation, so he just takes hits constantly. So it's even easier than the uh, Seismosaurus was. Yeah, all the music in this game is like, it sounds like Zoid's anime music, but it's not the exact same, so it's like, obviously trying to 
emulate the feel of it, but yeah, easiest mission ever. And a nothing G. I'll just bounce off of you for fun. Wait, what? Oh. Mission accomplished. I was like, what else is there to fight? <laughs> Okay, we've done it. I don't know what it is, we've done it. So this game is like implied to have the ZOS system in it as well, because again, connections to Legacy, but it's never like used in gameplay. Of course, well done, Claudia. You just stood there and looked pretty, which is... Well, you're good at fighting, too, but you're also good at that. You're kind of jack-of-all-trades, if you will. <laughs> Duckling. Alright, get us a Whale King. Wait, what? Um... I guess that was the end of the Republic story mode. I didn't know it ended there. I thought there was a different fight. I know there's one in... I know the fights are different in the Imperial storyline, but still. Um, alright then! That's the end of the Republic storyline for Zoid's Battle Legends. It's... Besides that one mission, it's quite easy. Well, I say that one mission. When the Lightning Sykes was actually harder than that, so... For what that's worth, I guess. Again, if you look at the, uh... Credits here. It never shows the voice actors, so... Maybe they didn't want to be credited for some reason. I couldn't imagine why. <laughs> I do like the little ending sequence of, like, your customized Zoid running in the background of all the destroyed bosses. It's kind of cool. And the theme's pretty nice as well, so can't complain there. But I'll save my quote-unquote retrospective for the uh, end of the Imperial storyline, because it's kind of the only other story content in the game, so... Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching if you did. That was... Interesting, you know, to do for a different style of LP, because it's more of an action-packed game. Besides Dark Souls, anyway, but... Certainly a fun ride. I can't believe I did the fucking Devil's Maze on the first try. That was crazy. I had no right to do that. But, I like the Imperial story better for obvious reasons. Two, if not four, very large reasons, but, um... You'll see when we get to that. But until then, thanks for watching, and have a lovely and safe night.